Hey y'all, I am back after a long delay, and I do apologize. Um, had a lot going on. Um, let me get my picture down here and enlarge because we all know the fair use that is there. Um, I have a new Chromebook because my other one, as you, yes, my lips split. I see it right in the picture. As y'all know, my other Chromebook was not staying up with the picture and the volume was separate. It's like my volume, and I hope that's all it was, was that old Chromebook. And if it wasn't, then I don't know how to fix it. Um, y'all know that my video would be playing and my voice or the volume would be behind just like three seconds or so, and it was so aggravating. Um, I have not watched any of Amber Lynn's videos since I've done my last video because I was waiting to do the reaction. I did not want to watch them and not be like, and I've not watched anybody's reaction videos on it. I have no idea what I'm fixing to face here. But let's get into it. And y'all, before we start, this coronavirus is throwing a kink in everybody's lives. I need a haircut. I have not had a haircut since the week before we went to New York back in December, which was the week before Christmas. Um, Beth's school, um, we were so scared Beth wasn't going to be able to finish her classes on time. They've got everything online. They have their clinicals online, everything. I mean, it's just... Of course, they're not dealing with real patients, but um, mine's all jacked up. I was supposed to have all my math tests um, in pre-calculus algebra. Um, I can't even think of the word I'm trying to think of. I'm tired. Um, proctored. I was supposed to have all my math tests proctored. And, of course, school campus is closed, so nobody can go up there. Um I'm three with psychology. I worked everything out early. My teacher said, go for it. It's done. I've got two more weekly quizzes to do and a regular test to do and a final exam to do. And I'll be through with pre-calculus algebra. This has been the longest semester ever. I hate math. I despise it. I cannot do it. I absolutely hate it. But anyway, you can see my hair out there curled out. Let's get into this video. I gotta see what kind of BS we got going on today. Hey guys, so. How are you, Amber Jiggling Reed? It's been hard trying to put on a face to film the video. I've actually tried filming this. Y'all, yeah, for some reason, I can't really hear her. Two other times, and in it, I was just bawling my eyes out. I was crying, and it's just not what I want to sh Let me go turn this down. Hold on just a second. Y'all don't go nowhere. I have um, a portable air conditioner in this room because this is where we sit and I like the room to be cold. So we have a portable air in here and it was really loud and I couldn't hear. But anyway, I've got my air conditioner going. I just couldn't hear over that loud thing. Back to Amber Jiggle and Reed. Show on my channel right now. I am a bundle of nerves. I've been having a lot of panic attacks lately. My depression is really bad and it's it's painful because I have worked so hard to get out of that state of depression and I was doing really good. Yo, if it wasn't for her depression and her bipolar, 
she wouldn't have no life at all whatsoever. I mean, and y'all, I know I'm fat. I've gained weight since I had weight loss surgery, um, but I've actually lost some. I've lost almost 15 pounds since I saw y'all last. Um, she has no life other than discussing her bipolar life and her mental issues. And then this virus thing completely took me by surprise. And I know we are all going through this together. I hope everyone yes, is we are. safe, healthy, taking the precautions that they need to be taking. I am consistently and constantly looking at the numbers. I am watching news channels. I am watching interviews with doctors and reading news articles about this. And it's taken over my mind, but I feel like knowledge is power. So it's kind of bittersweet because the more I know, the more scared I get. But it's like, if I was in the dark, I feel like that would do me worse. And I think also something that is terrifying me is there are two cases at Ricky's work and that is just two known cases. And he comes home and he takes the precautions he needs to take and he takes those precautions at work and his work is trying to take precautions. It's just, they still have to work. It's just, it scares me. Yeah, the chicken, there's two chicken processing plants here. Um, one is Wayne Farms, which is 167 North, headed north out of Enterprise. The other one is Pilgrim's Pride, and it's south of town. Uh, the Wayne's Farm up here, yeah, they've been passing it around. Last time I looked, we had like 60 cases here in Coffee County, which ain't a lot, but it's a lot for us. I and mean, we only have like 50, 51,000 people, I think, in Coffee County. Enterprise has like 30,000 people. But Coffee County is not a big county. I don't want the people around me to get it. I don't want me to get it. I know a lot of... It's more about right her. Now ...with weak immune systems or certain health problems, including me. So it is scary. And, you know, social distancing or being locked into your state where you can't leave your state because that's currently what we're dealing with and having all these stores closed and only essential things open you know that's you doing your part which is amazing it's my it's doing my part but you're not in complete control and i think that's what freaks me out the most because you can get it from simply a box of cereal i mean it stays on cardboard, which I'm pretty sure a box of cereal is cardboard. You know, it stays on, on cardboard for a little bit. Something as simple as like, I'm doing Kroger pickup and someone could have touched the box of cereal, you know, a couple hours prior and then I touch it. And we're so accustomed to like touching our face. I catch myself touch, touching my face quite a few times a day because it's like, that's what you've done. My wife keeps Bath and Body Work hand sanitizer in her purse. There's like four or five of them in her car. Some of them have glitter. Some of them don't. Some of them smell real strong perfumey. Some of them don't. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I use them. I don't care if I have glitter on my hands. I'm going to sanitize my hands. And for your whole life, I'm 29 years old, and it's... It's crazy how often I touch my face. It's just little things that we're having to adjust to, knowing that you can do your part as much as you can, but it's not 100%. Like, no one is bulletproof to this. No one is yet immune to this. And people could be walking around without symptoms and they don't even know that they're passing it on to the people. Um, and I think that's why I've been having so much fear and anxiety because I'm not ready to die because I know if I get it, I. Amberlynn, nobody is just like ready to die. That I don't think. I know I'm not either, but honey, you're more concerned about this virus than you are your weight problem. You could drop dead from a heart attack right this second. I could too, of course, but. I'm, I'm very, 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 very high chance of dying. 
and I don't want to cry in this video. I'm just not ready to go. You so cry on every video. I want to experience, and it's just scary. So with all of this going on, it just makes everything else just seem so small. It just, it's like almost as if nothing else matters to me besides making sure that me and the people around me are okay. Me, I me, me. Myself, meaning, you know, trying to focus on weight loss on the back burner. I have put YouTube on the back burner. I have put everything because everything else seems so small and just like it don't matter anymore. It's, this is completely took me just in a really bad place. I know everyone is dealing with it a lot differently. And it's just like, I didn't want to come on YouTube and like fake this happiness because sometimes, you know, fake happiness hurts just as much. And I just, I don't know what to do because I don't want to come on here and be like this bundle of sadness. And it's just, I have a lot of worry right now. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you do too. I'm pretty sure you ain't the only person. Understandable. The main focus of this video was just to give that update and explain why I've been absent. And I also wanted to do a weigh-in. I really wanted to do one today because not only is it Wednesday and I promised, well, I didn't really promise, but I yeah, specified that I want to do weigh-in Wednesdays. And I didn't do one last Wednesday because like I said, everything just seemed like it didn't matter anymore at all. And it almost still doesn't, but I need to kind of try my hardest to stop being in that mind girl you need to wash that nasty hair well i'm now i do have really bad allergies that started a few days ago and that's not fun okay so what's been important to me before this whole virus started is especially doing monthly weigh-ins because i really want to see per month how much i lose because to me that's exciting and fun to see so with this whole thing going on i honestly stopped looking at calories and looking at sodium and I've literally just been eating whatever I've wanted but I do want to say I have not binged I feel like that's something I am slowly truly beating and it feels really good I know for us you are damned old lie something I struggle with but it's like binging is always what really made me gain weight because I would binge thousands and thousands and thousands of calories and it was always at night after I've already ate a big quantity throughout the day. So by not binging, it definitely helps with whether I gain weight, lose weight, etc., etc. But my eating has been horrible. So I kind of wanted to share what I've been eating. I wanted to be very transparent with that. I have been eating a lot of white rice. And so That's carbs. honestly, I'll have one main meal a day. And it is, I don't even want to say it. Oh, I cook four servings of white rice. I'll have that in a bowl with soy sauce. And then I'll make one turkey burger. I don't use bread or anything. I eat it like a slab of meat, but honestly, it's so good. And that's what I'll have for my main meal. And I've been doing that for like a week now. It's been easy. Four servings you know, of rice. It tastes good. I enjoy it. It is a lot of calories it's about a thousand calories um maybe a little less but i've been using that as my main meal and then at night i will have a bowl of cereal i have been cereal obsessed mainly cocoa puffs have been my jam yeah so that's, have a bowl of cereal. that's really and then low carb my last to me it's like a small little meal it's just one little tv dinner because to me, a TV dinner, it does not fill me up. It's just kind of like... To me. To me. Ugh. Something that ties me over. But that has been my eating. Um, the white rice with the turkey burger and then a bowl of cereal later. And then later, just like a TV dinner. And when you look at it in the grand scheme of things, it's less than 2,000 calories. But while I'm eating it, I feel like I am eating... 4,000 calories and whatever because the rice and the turkey. Did she say that she eats a TV dinner just to tide her over or whatever she said? Because a TV dinner is a meal, Amberlynn. It's not a snack. It really does fill me up, but it's not that healthy, you know? 
I need to not have four servings of rice and maybe only have two if I have to have a ton. Rice is my weakness. And like have broccoli with it and you know, okay, fine, have the cereal, but wake up and have it for breakfast and like have a fruit on the side, you know? There is ways to make it to where I can still eat these things, but also like have a healthy side and still continue with weight loss, you know, and stuff like that. So I didn't really want to do the whole, okay, let's do daily weigh-ins because honestly, I did not weigh myself since the last time that I told you guys my weight and then I weighed myself today. So it's been a hot minute. It's been, ugh, I think it's been two weeks. So I was terrified to step on the scale. And even if I did do daily weigh-ins, I don't think I'm going to do the whole explaining my weight every day thing because I don't think a lot of people enjoyed that. So I think that's something I could just do on my own time if I do decide to do daily weigh-ins again, which honestly, I don't think I will. The last weigh-in I did on here, which was two weeks ago, I weighed in at 503.8. Okay. 603.8. So today I actually stepped on the scale and I'll put that clip in right here. Hello. It's ready. 505.4 pounds. Where was the date? Okay. Five hundred and five point four pounds. So I was five oh five point four, which means I was only up one point six. It shocked me, but it didn't. At first, it did shock me because I was like thinking I was going to gain all this weight, like a ton of weight. But then I had to sit there after I, you know, looked at my last two weeks, and I was like, okay, what did I do? Da da da. I didn't binge, and if I would have binged. Because I used to binge every night, you guys. That's how I got to be 572.4. You know, if I would have binged majority of the days in the last two weeks, I would have easily gained 20 to 30 pounds, like in a heartbeat. So the fact that I'm able to control that urge a little bit better now, it just, it feels good. And only gaining 1.6, I'm very happy about that. Should I have been down in two weeks, another maybe 12 pounds? Yes, I will not deny that at all. So I do wanna talk about how much I have lost in the last few months since I started this. So on October 8th, I was 571.0. Yeah, you know, this, is, this is really boring me. I'm going to end this video because I've got a few to go through of her videos and I've got to upload these. I'm going to probably do a couple tonight and maybe a couple tomorrow and try to catch up on them as I go along. I'm just right now I'm concentrating on this pre-calculus algebra. I've got to get through this class. But I'll be back with the next review um, re reaction video. I'll be back in just a minute.